How Testing Works – Being Smart About Medical Testing A diagnostic medical test, such as a blood test, microbiology culture, a CT scan, or MRI, are procedures performed to detect and diagnose disease, the results of which often lead to a course of treatment. People assume that when a doctor or other clinician orders a medical test, the results will be easy to interpret. However, that's not true. While many tests perform well, no test is 100% accurate. A positive or negative result doesn't always mean you have the disease or you don't have the disease. This uncertainty when interpreting a test is uncomfortable, but is the reality of clinical medicine. If not careful, misinterpreting results could lead to a false or uncertain diagnosis, which can then lead to unnecessary treatments with undue side effects or increased medical expenses. However, once we understand that diagnostic tests and their results are based on probability, we can begin to quantify this uncertainty and make smarter decisions. When doctors are considering ordering a test, it is helpful to follow the three P's framework. P1, determine the pretest probability of diseases. P2, understand how that probability could change with a positive or negative test result. P3, weigh the pros and cons of testing. Let's take a closer look at each P, starting with P1, pretest probability. This is where we ask, how probable is a disease prior to testing? There are many things to consider, so let's take a closer look. To determine pretest probability, a doctor considers the prevalence of disease in the population, a patient's history, symptoms, and medical exam. Not only does the pretest probability help a doctor interpret a test result, but it helps them decide whether or not to test a patient in the first place. The second P is probability change with a positive or negative result. Based on the determined pretest probability, clinicians must ask, what could a positive or negative outcome mean for a disease probability? A diagnostic test won't help when the pretest probability of a disease is either very high or very low. It might even cause confusion. It is critical to consider this closely because doctors need different degrees of certainty for different actions. For pneumonia, a diagnosis that is often uncertain, the treatment threshold, or probability where treatment is net beneficial, is approximately 25%. So, if the pretest probability of pneumonia is 50%, there may be no benefit to testing. If the pretest probability is very low, say around 1%, even a positive chest x ray is not enough to cross the threshold for treatment. After considering the meaning of a positive or negative test in a specific patient, clinicians must decide how a test would change their actions. This is the third P. What are the pros and cons of testing? Will the test help or cause any harm? Let's take a look at a few examples in context. A patient with constipation causing abdominal pain gets a CT scan with contrast that then enters their kidneys. A patient being tested for cancer who has no interest in treatment if one was found might choose to avoid the harms of testing. If a patient is already being treated for a disease and a test result wouldn't change that. The last step is to engage the patient in the decision to test. Clinicians are experts on medical information, but patients are experts on themselves. The doctor should explain the probability of each decision, listen to the patient's desire to do less or more, and guide the patient to determine the best path forward. The pearls to remember when approaching medical testing. Probability is the basis of diagnosis and testing. We are never 100% certain. There is always diagnostic uncertainty. Consider how much certainty we need to treat different diseases, say pneumonia versus cancer. First, determine pretest probability. Tests then modify this. To learn more, visit our website that catalogs test performance numbers from the scientific literature for sensitivity, specificity, and probabilities displayed in a more understandable fashion. Doing the math for you.